In this video, we're going to be looking at how we've researched and carried out a drone survey of an entire valley, after first of all noticing a small mark on an old map. In the valley in question, which is located high up in the UK's northern Pennines, there is known to have been mining activity in the 1700s and 1800s. In fact, located there is a mine which will appear in a future episode of our UK Abandoned Mine Explorers channel. On old maps, that mine has what is known as a shop marked on it, a shop being a place where the miners would stay during the week whilst they were working in the mine. One of our guys was looking at the map and noticed that further down the valley there was another identically sized building marked, but not labelled with anything. Looking on Google Earth, using its time facility, I tried to see what I could see at the site, but Google's imaging for the area is pretty low resolution, so a mission on foot it would be. A few days later, after a long trek across the moors and dropping into the dramatic valley, we worked our way down the narrow valley floor to the site. On arrival, we found the remains of what still appeared to be the usual size of a shop. We could not think what else it could be at such a remote and inhospitable location. All around us we saw possible spoil tips and signs of perhaps quarrying, but scrambling around we found no obvious signs of a mine or shaft in the immediate area. But on the valley floor we found several areas where the watercourses were obviously dug by hand, and signs of mine waste tips. With rumours of at least one mine in this valley, I decided what I could do to at least try to get a better understanding of what was going on on the valley floor would be to do an aerial video and photographic survey of just under a kilometre of the valley floor to give us a much higher resolution image than currently found on Google Earth. So first of all, before looking at how we made the survey and what we found with it, I thought it might be beneficial to give some context and have a bit of fun. First of all, by flying up the valley. So here we are at the bottom of the valley flying up. And what I find interesting straight away is the fact that on other images, you can see a track and a map. You can see a track going up left hand side. That doesn't appear here. You can see the track in the middle of the valley. Uh, just on the right there, you can see what looks like tips sort of, but I think that's natural springs. Uh, the right hand side there, if we pause the video, uh, there is a massive slump. Now that is reputed to be the site of a mine, but I suspect we have walked down the bottom there and that is all loose tips, but I suspect if there was a mine there, it is now very much gone. And just passing beneath us, you can see a little watercourse, which I've not noticed before. Yes, I have. That actually goes from a little cut in the bank and it looks when you're on the ground to be very portly so that is a possible possible target so continuing on on the uh, the right hand side there we've got the stream and uh, just to the right there you can see this sort of line coming down all the footage I've seen, I cannot explain that. Uh, we need to get on the ground and walk that to see what is going on there. And on the left hand side, you can see this feature here, which is curving up, and I think that is natural, but there is a gash through it. And in the valley there is, um, looks like building. So that's possibly been quarrying going through there. Passing beneath us is the original site that we came to look at. Now you can see on the right hand side there, there is a, uh, what we looks like when you're on the ground a human cut course so yeah that supports the theory that this is an actual mine site on the left hand side we searched that on the ground quite a bit looking for portals but all we found was signs of coin that doesn't mean there wasn't a portal there uh, there's a lot of landslip in this valley and so it could have been buried or you know it could have been deeply buried or just below the surface and there's the mine shop that we originally came to look for what we're assuming now is a mine shop we are coming out of the general area of interest now but I thought you'd like to see to the top of the valley doesn't mean there's nothing here it's just that nothing's been detected we walked all the way up here on our first explore and yes it is tough going uh, especially as we came after the heavy snows and uh, this is like 
two weeks after the snows and there's still snow as you can see in that left hand valley now we didn't notice when we were here but that left hand valley there is you'll see a pipe and then there's actually on the map so there is a dam behind that so that may be worth a future visit and then as it breaks off to the right you can see there's a shaft sitting there and just off to the right there is the portal of the, the known mine i'll show you some pictures here again so that's the tour up the valley what we'll do now is fly back down and we'll visit the psyche that is on the left hand side okay this psyche well, it's known as a little stream it's known as a psyche in this area uh, piqued our interest initially because from a distance it looks like there's holes and it, they well, look like holes when you closer up they actually turn out to be appear to be uh, just waterfalls in the peat so as you can see as we fly over nice and slow so that we can see details it is just peat a mixture of peat and water falling over natural rock outcrops there is something to the right there climbing up the side but I don't suspect that, that is anything of interest it might be worth a walk on foot to have a look at that area but yeah in general I don't think the psych has anything to reward us with for searching it. As you can see, that uh, the centre of the psych, the weather had been horrendous just before we got there, so that is very, very waterlogged and would be a nightmare to walk up. This is where the drone comes in handy because we can send it up and have a look. So, yep, yeah, flying back to the main valley. Next, I thought it would be prudent to have a look at a lidar model of the valley. For those who do not know, LiDAR is a system where an airborne laser bounces off the ground, creating millions of points in space, from which a map can be created with trees etc. removed. By using this system, we can build a 3D model of the valley, which even allows us to put the sun in different positions, allowing us to see different features. As you can see here, it looks like there has been a lot of landslip in this valley, and there is a curious trail heading up the valley. Looking in the valley floor, we can see what might be tips from mining and a hole in this feature, which also is likely from quarrying. So, after our initial flights, we return to the valley to do the survey itself. The methodology is simple. We position the drone as best we can over the center of the valley, then take a picture, then fly forward until that feature at the top of the image is at the bottom of the next image, and so forth. Now, obviously the valley twists, so at some points, once we have taken the image, we have to adjust the angle of the drone to follow it. Once all the images are complete, we can use Photoshop to stitch them together to give us a large, zoomable image. If this were printed out, it will be 1.2 by 1.3 meters. We can now use this to zoom in and see what we can see. Right, here is our finished image, and what we're going to do, you can see how the valley twists around, uh, it's quite fascinating that, uh, fun to put together as well. So what we're going to do is have a, a zoom in, and see what we can see as we scroll down the image. So here's the bottom of the image, and uh, it gets a bit pixelated to get close, but there we go, this is 12 megapixels, so there we go. At the beginning of the valley, we see the area where we came to initially investigate and we looked around here for portals and up this area too top of the quarry it's quite wet there potentially there's something there but it's if it is it's buried what we didn't notice is this indent here now this could be natural because there's other things here which are land movements etc so that could be natural but you can see the cut channel there which goes down there rejoins but there's also a channel going that way so I don't know what's happened there whether it originally went that way it's changed direction or that's just water coming from beneath I do not know but as we go down we can see in this next valley this is where that big curve is you can see what looks like the remains of a building here. I'm not sure where it's a tip, because it's sort of a tip shape there. But there's definitely rocks there, so I don't know if that's natural, uh, or not natural, if that's from tips or that's a building. 
But if you look at the big curve coming down here, you can see this big gash in the side. So that looks like that's been quarried at some point. I don't think that's leading up to a portal because it looks like they just removed stuff from there. I'm very much doubting that that is natural. That would be worth uh, having a look at in the future. Because here also you can see this sort of arcing line here. And difficult to see in the picture but there's actually something here. Now it's either a drift which yeah, this is flat and that's heading under the river so yeah, not sure about that or it's some sort of wheel pit but there's definitely something been going on there is it quarrying is it related to this or is it separate don't know that's something we could look at in the future so heading down the valley we've got the natural thing here and it looks, I've just noticed this, it looks like there's a chunk missing out of its side here. So possibly some more quarrying going on there. Now this is interesting here, just on the joint of the pictures. I don't think it's worth going in closer. Eh, pixelated, but there we go. Coming out of here, looks, possibly, it's either a spring or a drift. We did look and there was stone there. And we thought initially it was like a little bit of exposed arching but there was no stone next to it so it could be a natural spring but it could be worth another investigation so carrying on this here when we were on the ground is loose spoil like it's come from mine now this is a suspected area of mining but this entire bank here has slumped so if there was anything there chances are it's now buried uh, there's also across here you can see this fanning out slightly eh, maybe but there's a hole in the side of the hill here so maybe something going on there now this initially looks like something but it's a bit random it looks more like uh, water's coming out here and it's flooding that area which is causing that sort of look as we go down Mm, nothing major to see here. You've got this sort of embankment here showing uh, where the path goes. Apart from that, possible quarrying there. I'm not sure about that. Uh, <clears throat> and as we go down, it looks like we've got some uh, natural spring. Or maybe that's coming from a portal running down there. So it takes a right turn there and then another right turn. Now most... <laughs> Rivers don't just take right turns like that, so maybe that's elite. Uh, maybe it's coming from a portal. Portals tend to have straight ones, though, so I do not know. Now, you can see the path clearly that you couldn't see on the video. You can see it here on this picture, so you can see the advantages of doing this sort of technique. Uh, there's sort of an embankment there, but I think that's where the rivers hit, uh, hit into the natural embankment, so there's nothing there. But don't quote me, because you never know. And then we are into the bottom of the valley, and I can't see anything obvious there. So, yeah, that's what I've seen on the aerial survey. Uh, you can download it from the links found below. Feel free to download it. Feel free to have a look. And if you see anything, uh, put it in the comments. Uh, then we could uh, go and have a look at that in the future. There you go. I've put the JPEG and the raw versions down in the links below. So as discussed, this gives us some context into what was going on in the valley and clues to where we could look in the future. Unfortunately, in this video so far, we've not found any mines in the valley other than the already known one. But fear not, as a treat, the next valley over is known to have a mine from the 1700s in a nice dramatic location, being next to a waterfall. So join me here as I try to seek it from the air, having been there prior on foot. Yes, I initially flew down to find this waterfall, but flew straight past it because it's very difficult to see in my screen because they're not as bright as you'd like them to be at times. But we turned around, I flew way past, came back up the valley, and this is what created us. This is an amazing location, this mine, which you can just see on the left, 
is from the 1700s. And you've got that waterfall there, and that lovely dip pool. This will be a lovely location in summer. And yes, as we've said, this will be on our UK Abandoned Mine Explorers channel. Uh, because we will be exploring this one. It's from the 1700s. And we popped our head in there on a prior visit. And it's about four foot tall. Which is typical for mines of that age. Well, I hope this has been some interest to you. If it has, then please like the video and consider subscribing if you have not already. You can join us on Facebook and Instagram. And just remains for me to say thank you very much for watching.